man. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, so uh, first and foremost, you want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel. Peace and salutations to all the Sese Akim, enduring afflictions, making her calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. It's the brother Azan. It's the brother Yitzhakah. And uh, back with another one, Lord willing, it's edifying. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakadash, Rakakadash, to all sincere listeners who may hear this. This one's called, His Thoughts Are Not Our Thoughts. Starting off here in Wisdom 9 and uh, 13. Mm -hmm. It says, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse 13. It says, For what a man is he that can know the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Shai, or who can think what the will of the Lord is? You read where from the time. This is in Wisdom 9 and 13. It says, For what man is he that can know the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Shai, or who can think what the will of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what man is he that can do that? Who, 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 what, what kind of man can think upon what the will of the Lord is? What, what kind of man can know his counsel? What kind of man can know his thoughts? Mm -hmm. ah. Is it a little more than bring us up? It says, verse 14, it says, For the thoughts of mortal man are miserable, mm -hmm. and our devices are but uncertain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you cannot... Uh, Ultimately, you cannot, um, you you can't, um, you can't figure out the mind of Yahweh Shem Hashem, the will, the counsels, the thoughts of the Heavenly Father with mortal flesh, period. There's no way to do that with, 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 uh, through mortality. You know, you have to do it through uh, uh, spirituality. And, and then even within spirituality, it's, it's only a certain limit you can go with it, you know, because... Mm -hmm. He, he gives us the Holy Spirit to be able to understand certain things. So mm -hmm. he's only giving us a certain uh, level that we can go to with it, you know? Right. Come on, knock. That's it. Jump to that in uh, Proverbs 16. Come on. This is in the book of Proverbs 16, in verse 3. Pull it up. It says, Commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. Yeah, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. You know, um, this th that's how uh, ultimately you make sure that your thoughts are on point is by committing your works unto Him. Just like we were just talking about the Holy Spirit, which has been given unto us by inspiration of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, that's how our thoughts are established. That's how we know uh, that, that that's how uh, we can connect our thoughts unto Him is by committing our works unto Him. You know in our deeds unto him, operating within the spirit that's how we uh you know ultimately uh are like uh mind in mind with the mind of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah you know you can't know his thoughts unless you wanna unless you're committing your works unto him mm -hmm. you know ah. yep you can jump in whatever you want to jump in yep yeah that was really good yeah. up until Isaiah 65 Look at the prophet Isaiah 65, verse 2. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Okay. So we see, all right, within this context, if you're uh, walking in a way after your own thoughts, then that's not good, you know, within the context of the prophet, which, you know, that's the most high speaking to the prophet. You know, if you're doing things like that, then you're, uh, according to this text, you're a rebellious people, man. You know, if you're uh, walking in a way after your own thoughts, you know, that's really being a, a forward, you know, because you're doing something contrary, all right, to your Hashem You're not going toward him, you know, you're going forward from Salakia. Um, right, right, for, uh, forward, forward, you know, Salakia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the scripture speaking about how they have went away backward. Right. How do you go away backward? Because you're not, you're not uh, trying to seek the, the Lord's mind. You're, trying, you're not trying to know the, the mind of the Lord. You know. How do you know the mind of the Lord? Like we brought in the Proverbs 16 and 3 by committing thy works unto Him. Man. You know, that's how you start to like get get in get in tune with His thoughts a little bit. You know, and uh, His counsels and His wills. You know, when you're when you're operating within uh, uh, the, the, the the deeds and the fruits of the Spirit. Yep. 
was in the song chapter one and uh start at verse three it says it's a spirit it says for forward thoughts mm. separate from yahweh bashim yahweh shai and his power when it is tried reproveth the unwise okay. uh, let's read down to verse five it's kind of not here. I'll go ahead and get that now. Um, get that now. Etymology or Google? Um, you can click it on etymology. Yeah, it's already here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's one of them older words. Yeah. Froward from the 1200s. It says, turn against, perverse, disobedient, peevish, petulant, adverse, difficult, mm. away from. It says the opposite of toward. Mm. That's why that's why I yeah. got it from. Yep. So it says about to depart. Mm. <laughs> like I'll be saying, I'm I'm ahead out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says about to depart, mm. departing, and doomed to die. Mm. So that's that's what it goes into when it's forward. Let's see if there's more. Um, yeah, that was about it. But I guess uh, pervert is in there as well. You know. You know, pervert is something that's adverse. Mm. Same thing. You know, within the, you know, the uh, late 1400s, you know. Um, so it says, For forward thoughts separate from Yahweh Bashim Shai, and his power when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. Mm, yeah, so ultimately, you know, if, you're, if your thoughts ain't according to the works of Yahweh Bashim Shai, his counsels and his will, you know, you're separated from Yahweh Yahusha, so you can't even begin to uh, ponder what his thoughts is, man. You know, because forward thoughts separate yourself from him. You know, so how the hell are you going to, like, come in communion to what his thoughts could be if you're, you, you're not, uh, if you're adverse first to his thoughts, man. You know, like, if you're not, if, if, you're, if you're adverse to something, then it don't have nothing to do with you. It don't have nothing to do with you, man. You know? Okay. So you can't, you can't, uh, if your thoughts ain't uh, uh, straightforward according to uh, the works and the counsels and the will of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, according to the scriptures, you can't even begin to try to uh, figure out his thoughts. Nah, you can stay here. Oh, we can stay around? Yep. Right. Verse 4 says, For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, mm -hmm. nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin. Mm -hmm. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit right. and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness cometh in. Mm -hmm. Right. So ultimately, if you uh, if you're being led by the Holy Spirit, it's not gonna your your thoughts. They're not gonna be separate away from Yahweh Hashem the, the, the Holy through the Holy Spirit. That's how you begin to like try to tap in with the thoughts of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, like we alluded to earlier. You know, because the Holy Spirit will cause you to flee. Deceit, it'll cause you to flee away from things that are not according to the most high's mind, you know. Right. So that's so you have to be uh, um, operating within the Holy Spirit, you know, within that separate spirit, you know, that's and that and that goes into committing your works unto Yahweh Shem Yahshua, then your thoughts will be established, you know. That's right. book of Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 5 it says many kings have sat down upon the ground and one that was never thought of hath won the crown God, you know so hey man this is something that we need to really uh take heed to man we need to understand you know even even a king man you know we could uh figure out certain things within the situation you know but it's but we talking about the most high's mind, you know? We're not going to be able to figure out the most high's mind fully, man, you know? We can't be figuring out the, the most high's mind, you know? We talk about, all right, the, uh, the wisdom, all right, of the heavens. You know, we talking about all right, particular things that ultimately, like we, uh, Brother alluded to earlier, you know, that he's going to impart us particular things, particular understandings, you know? He's going to give us uh, particular things, but it ain't going to be on our own accord. Ain't gonna be on our own, uh, <laughs> just our own will. Mm -hmm. right. Are you good, bro? That was, that was blunt. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Thor willing. <laughs> kind of not. Jump back to the eighth chapter. Kind of.
This is in uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 17. It says, counsel not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. Ah. So that's basically uh, something that's it's a fearful thing, man. No matter how, how uh, far we go in this thing, no matter how much we learn so-called knowledge and wisdom, we, we, just, we just never know, man. We just never know, man. You know? That's why it's, all, it's always, you know, something that a wise man is going to do is going to be seeking counsel. Mm -hmm. You know? The scriptures tell you, uh, do nothing without counsel. You no. Know? That's right. And who's counsel? It's got to be uh, the counsel of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh. How do you get counsel from Yahweh by Sim Yahweh by operating within the Holy Spirit? You know, when you're operating within the Holy Spirit, you're going to be doing things according to the mind of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh. That's, the, that's, that's that wonderful counselor, you know, mm -hmm. like I speak about in Isaiah 9 and 6. not heard that the everlasting power the Lord Yahweh the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not neither is weary there is no searching of his understanding you know, there's no searching of the understanding they have father man you know so for you you the, the, the Lord don't get weary man so it's, it's only a certain limit that our brains can go to you know but the heavenly father is he don't have no limits on his mind man you know he don't have no limits on his mind that's what we gotta always Keep in mind, there's no searching of his understanding, man. The only thing you can do is just submit yourself unto him, and then Lord willing, he'll give you insight on a little something that can, uh, that, that can lead you closer to him, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So just stop it, man. Just stop trying to, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that you're going you're gonna, to... Uh, get to the top of the mountain so to speak God. you know what i'm saying like i found it eureka the keys <laughs> i got the keys dj God. khaled voice yeah nah man it was a future you know yeah, yeah. dj khaled in future yeah. okay you know what i'm saying he close stuff man man i think that he knows anything you know if nothing yet that he ought to know yeah you know you gotta get over it. like uh yeah if we're still here man we, we should still be growing all right, and knowledge, so to speak, man. Ultimately, growing closer to Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know, in this day, man. You know, we should be uh, getting, uh, you know, revelations, you know, every uh, once in a while, like you know, at least something that feels like a revelation, like oh wow, you know what I'm saying? Like just this morning, the one we can <laughs> chop it up, God. you know what I'm saying? Certain things you read the same scripture, and it can hit you different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know, you know, when it comes to this this thing of ours, man. The living waters, man. This is something that's Live and active, you know, like uh, Karaf just you know, did a video on. says number tail innumerable mm. it says by count and number according to number uh yeah man innumerable man <laughs> you're not able to number all right the, uh, the understanding of our power man the most high power our right, name is yahweh this, 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 i mean there's no way we, we can uh because you know what i'm saying like uh scriptures talk about you know the innumerable multitude you know what i'm saying like you, you can't number you know so, hey, man, some things we just can't put a number on it, man. We just we just know that he is, you know, and we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can't put no cap on you. Know, what's, what's that scripture say? Count majesty. Count majesty. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's something else I might be saying it wrong. That was it, man. <laughs>
Yeah, it definitely went there. That was it, then. You, you, you on the level. Oh, yeah, that was not it, though. Like, I feel like it was something else. They say it speak about counting the majesty of the Lord, I believe. But, uh, a chapter or a uh, book. I feel like it might have been Psalms, but I'm not for sure. I, uh, you know, but... Yeah, uh, probably in Psalms. There's a few of them I could give. Um, let me see. So, like, it's a few of them. That's nice, Con. anyway. She just read one. Kind of not. Um, this is Psalms 145 and verse 5. Mm, same chapter. Or was it? <laughs> kind of. Uh, what was we at? Psalm this is Psalm 147. Oh, 47. Yeah, so a couple chapters back. Um, it says, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. You know, reminds me of in um, you know, rock. Was it the 44th chapter? Was it the forty third chapter? It talks about we can't we can't uh, exalt him as he is. Oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Kind we only seen a few of his works. Ooh. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like we, we we can't even fathom even particular things that we have seen. We can't even understand that, man. <laughs> we can't even understand you know how uh, the particular members are are formed in a womb. We, we, we can't uh, you know Esau tries to implicate you know try to do some type of witchcraft for that. Yeah. But this is something that naturally the Most High has been doing for ages, man. Mm. We we can't figure that out. You know, and that's just one example out of uh, many. Yep. Come on, jump in the one thirty nine. Uh, this is in Psalms one thirty nine. Let me start at the top. <clears throat> it says, "O Lord Yahweh, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising." Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. Huh. So this is something that the most high he 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 has a perfect understanding of all this down down the line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's how prophecy works. There wouldn't be no such thing as a prophet, you know, if it wasn't for the most high having this thing written from afar off, seeing our uh particular things, man. And then these things play out, you know? So he, he's in the perfect control, man. You know, like the word, you know, he it cuts into the inward thought of man. You know, that's the word of the most high power. Read down to verse six. It says, for there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Yahweh, thou shem shai, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and lay thine hand upon me. Verse 6, it says, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I, can, I cannot attain unto it. So it's a, certain, it's, 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 it's a certain point that you can't go to. You know what I'm saying? King David understood that. Like, like you, you know every point that I can go to, but it's a certain point that I can't go to. You know? Like, I, it's, it's, certain, it's certain things that we can't attain unto, you know? We just gotta uh, realize that and uh and stay home. You know? oh, just yeah, just uh, just a way that I'll look over here as clock. Yeah. Uh, I was doing that. Oh, um, yep. Damn, so I'd say because he's uh, This is in the uh, prophet Isaiah 55. Uh verse 6. Uh verse 8. This is Isaiah 55 and 8. Topic right here. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is thus said the Lord right here, man. You know? And he says, he's saying, My thoughts are not your thoughts. You know? You, you got particular scriptures describing our thoughts. That's not the most highest thoughts. Most highest thoughts aren't measurable, you know. Verse 9 says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts ah, so that's, a, that's, a, that's a big difference man the heavens that's how high the heavens are higher than the earth man that, that's how that, that's the big that's a big difference man you know so hey man and that's that's said the Lord man you know and that's what the thing Jake need to just kind of just understand man you know you ain't got you ain't got all the answers, man. Even Paul, he said, "I know in part, I prophesy in part." 
You're not going to know everything on the side, man. Shit, we got about like three, four, five more. Uh -huh. Like you know the four operations of the Lord Like oh I know the Lord He ain't gonna deliver them Or he ain't gonna let that He ain't yeah. gonna let like, You know what I'm saying You're trying to say Well the Lord This is how, what he got going on This is why he's doing this Don't don't, don't go there man You know mm -hmm. uh, It's Proverbs 25 and 3 The heaven for height And the earth for death And the heart of kings Is unsearchable mm, Yeah the heart And who's the ultimate king Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shem man you know, the height for, uh, what does it say? It says, the heaven for height and the earth for death and the heart of kings is unsearchable. God, no, nah, yeah, so uh, the, 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 the heights and the depth, you know, that's for what that's for. With Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, you know, his mind is, no, nah, you can't figure that out. You might can dig in the earth, you know what I'm saying? You might can go into space. You know what I'm saying? But you you, you you can't figure out, you can't dig into your, the mind of Yah Bashem, Yah Shah. You know, you can't search that. You might can search for gold. You know what I'm saying? You might can search Mars. You know what I'm saying? But you can't search Yah Bashem, Yah Shah. You know, not his mind. Ah. Yep. Um, yeah, on that. Yeah. Jeremiah 32. This is in the prophet Jeremiah 32 and 17. It says, Ah, Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, behold, that has made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Read down to 19. It says, Thou shewest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompensest the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them, the great. The mighty power, the Lord, Yahweh Shai of hosts, is his name. It says, Great in counsel and mighty in work, for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. That's right. You know, and that reminds me of Romans 11 when I did a uh, breakdown of the chapter when it goes into basically. In the grand scheme of thing, how the Most High is going to have mercy upon all of Israel, mm -hmm. you know, and and how this thing works. This is beautifully uh, set up, man. Perfectly designed. I right, by our power, man. Merciful power, man. And this is uh, basically uh, reiterating the same thing here, man. Great in counsel, mighty in work. It says, for thy eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways. So nothing is slipping through the cracks, man. He he has a. Uh, you know, uh, created a, a particular way, a format that this thing is going to happen, man. And we just got to believe and trust that he's going to be, he's going to reward those that diligently seek him, man. He's going to reward every man according to their works. Yep. Uh -huh. You know, verse 17, it says, there is nothing too hard for thee. Mm -hmm. It ain't too hard, man. It's a light <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> Tell you that in Isaiah 49 and 6, it's a light thing that thou shalt uh you get it real quick. Which one? Okay. Isaiah 49 and 6. Okay. This is the prophet Isaiah 49 and 6. It says, and he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. Yeah, that's a light thing for God about Shimon Shah, man. You know? <laughs> It's a light thing, man. You know, just like uh, Apostle Paul said, and I believe it's like Acts the twenty fourth chapter. Think, what, why you think it's such a big thing that Yahweh Hashem Hashem could raise the dead, man? That's nothing, man. You know, you know what kind of power we dealing with, man? You know. Um. Yeah. Um. We'll get a few more. Um. Jump back to Psalms forty five. This is Psalms 40 and verse 5. It says, Many, O Lord, Yahweh, my power, are thy wonderful works, which thou hast done. And thy thoughts, which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more that can be numbered. See, like we were saying earlier, man. 
There's there more than that can be numbered, man. The wonderful works, man. It was the most high. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is done, man. You know? It says, and thy thoughts, which are to us word. You know, it says, cannot be reckoned up in order into thee. <laughs> you know? So we, 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 we can't, we, like, we just don't have, we don't have the uh, the capability, man, to receive all right, the understanding of the most high, man. Yeah, man, you can't put the Lord's uh, thoughts in a box, man. Like I said, man, you can't just be out here just declaring things, you know, like, oh, yeah, the most high this. Oh, hold up, man. You, 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 don't, you don't know, man. Yeah, nah. Lord willing, man. Throw some <laughs> Lord willing on there. Yeah, okay. Um, then Psalms 33. Uh Psalms 33 and 11, <clears throat> it says, The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. The counsel of the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, standeth forever, and his thoughts go to generations, man. You might forget your thought tomorrow, man. You know, the thoughts of the Heavenly Father, man, they, they spread for generations, man. You know what I'm saying? His counsel stands forever, man. All right? Mm -hmm. So just, 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 just let it happen, man. You know? Just let it happen. Let it be what it's going to be, man. You just commit your works unto him. And your thoughts will be established with Lord willing uh, within his will on the right-hand side. You know? Right. God. This is in Romans 11 and uh, 33. That's the spirit. I was talking about that earlier. Ah, yeah. This is Romans 11 and 33. It says, O the death of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim how shy, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. As we read 4, 34 says, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, or who hath been his counselor? <laughs> who hath been his counselor, man? <laughs> like most times, you know what I'm saying? Seeking counsel from somebody like, hey, man. I got an issue, man. I don't know if you can help me out, man. <laughs> God, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. so ain't nobody counseling the Lord, man. God, uh, yeah. Who, who has directed his spirit, man? I'll tell you about that, uh, Isaiah 40, the 40th chapter, man. I don't need no help, man. I don't need, I don't, I don't need your insert, man. You know, I got it figured out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The way, the way that men try to think, yeah, how about see my side? That's that, that, that's what it is with him. You know what I'm saying? Man, be like, man, I don't, I don't need to be taught nothing more. I, 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 don't, I don't need to be told nothing more. Oh, so like, okay. yeah, I don't need to be, uh, you know, uh, like give, given, you know, I, I don't need to be given more insight on things. I know what I'm talking about is right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's, yep. that's, 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 that's how you have Hashim Asha is on, 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 for real, you know? Come on. So with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim, enduring afflictions, making a calling and election church. Shalom. Shalom. DTA.